Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Dreams of Poland mod in which we're playing as a Habsburg Empire. And immediately, let's just get into it. So a couple comments. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should release Russia or not. Overall, people said, yeah, you probably should. So, and some other people said, we should release Belarus, Ukraine, some Balkan states. So I figured, you know what, as a good compromise. Ooh, is this supposed to be ours, Seth? That's our obvious. Stanislaus is definitely supposed to be ours, though. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, definitely this area. I'm sorry, Ukraine. We gotta keep this up. This is supposed to be our own core territory. It's mine right now. Is this... Mm, hold on. I'm sorry, I just did this off screen. Does this look any better? Uh, hmm. Does that look better? Hmm. I'm not really sure. But regardless, uh, I've got quite a few comments to go through. I'm actually going to take this back just because I can. Would that make it look better? Yeah, I, mm, you know, I would do that. I'm taking this group too. There you go. Recurring doesn't look great, but you know what? That's better for us, I think. Cool. Regardless, hope you're having a great day. So let's do the comments. Some of the comments, like release people. I could release the Balkans, but I want to keep factories. I still need as many factories as possible right now. And since I release stuff, we're not making any anti-air now, so that's not good. We lost quite a few dockyards as well, so that's also not very good. Uh, yeah. Someone says I should, like, release Germany. I'm like, I can only release so much. I mean, I still need territory and stuff like that. But regardless, we are defending against the Allies at this point And hopefully doing okay. Oh. Oh, God. What's going on here? Why is it so bad around here? Can you guys actually go in? No. Supply is probably really bad. Yeah, you guys are fighting them. How about you do something about it, then? Oh, because they're not, they're not in the war. That's... They didn't join earlier? Okay. Well, whatever. I should not need to justify against Finland. Please don't let me justify against the flipping Finns. Please. And they're still attacking down here, which is fine. So, my goal is to pretty much just tie up as many of their supplies and kill them off that way. Kill off Lithuania. Are we doing Latvia yet? Russia technically... Oh, we are. Technically, Russia does have claims or cords on them. If they're only claims, then I'm not, I'm not going to give it to them, so... Cool, sink whatever they got, that'd be good. Let you guys come on in. And they're probably gonna start attacking our divisions over here really, oh. This is unexpected. If you guys could help them out, that would not be bad. They could force the attack, there goes Lithuania, great. New Zealand, cool. Got a couple more comms to go through, but let's head on over here and help them out in the Benelux. If we're quick enough, we can probably smack them down. And you guys have done a very good job as well. Kind of hanging out. Let's see. You guys are holding down here. We can't really see how many enemies that there are, but whatever. Cool. And we sent a convoy. Great. A Norwegian one. Oh, China. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to release more states, because I need more steel. So, I'm not going to get it for my puppets, because that means they get more autonomy, and I don't want that. We could trade with America, but now we good, too. Finland. Come on. Join the war. Oh, we also took out Mongolia. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's good enough. Probably. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Why does Turkey want us to invest in them again? Not sure why. Not really sure why. Oh, let's... Yes. Proper territory. Proper Polish territory, obviously. How are we doing over here? Doing a relatively okay, maybe. And we need the Dutch are going. I guess we start blowing. Which sounds very, very weird. Maximize industrial output. Sure, why not? Finally, our industry has reached a level of sophistication that our production of a certain types of equipment is no longer impaired. Still, we must find, be mindful that other nations have had a head start before us, and it will take us a long time to reach the same number of aircraft and tanks as any other nations may have. Oh, yeah. China. China. China is definitely not number one. I'm sorry to disappoint the PRC, but oh my goodness, kind of. China. China. Come on. We need steel, son. We need steel. I don't mind trading away for it, but you gotta give me the goods. Maybe all my goodies. Which sounds very weird. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Come on, Finland, join the goddamn war. Okay, we got Belgium. That was fast. Holy cow, this is disgusting, too. 
Are you guys over here? You are getting there. You guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay. Y'all are doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Tie him up as much as you can. Actually, do you... No, you don't have anything yet. That's fine. The question was a Finland, which makes sense, because the Finns got to go bye-bye. Y'all are defending down here, but you don't really need much, huh? Nice. More convoys. Convoys go bye-bye. Well, we've, we're taking Liu. That's pretty good. How many divisions do they have? They have 14. Wowzers. That's a lot. But we're doing pretty darn well, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, a lot better than I thought we would. Even though we are struggling in some areas. We probably lost quite a few. Yes, we have. We've got quite a few English already. Not better British, really, I should say. There'll be some English in there, but really more British. Dunkirk, nice. I've also tried to start making some coastal divisions. Because we definitely gonna need them. Definitely gonna need them. Most subs don't mind if we do. Finland. Finland, come on. Oh my goodness, you're killing off my supply. No wonder they're not coming into the war yet. God dang, soulless fins. How much manpower does France have? Do they have a lot left? They probably do. No, they don't. Okay. And the Brits, well, they have quite a bit. Cool. Yes. Sneaky, sneaky, our submarines are. We're doing ridiculously well for where we're at right now. I definitely don't want to attack across the Maginot. That'd be kind of a bad idea. So we're not. Mm, no, nothing there of interest. Well, Paris is a frontline city. Go figure. Hey, Recon 3, not bad. It's, oh, it's 43. It's more extraction, yes. I want more extraction. Because 700 is pretty good, but we could do a little better. Right, so now we're starting to fail around here. So I'm going to have you guys do this. You're all going to, like, kind of hang out. You guys are going to concentrate on the northern portion. With the tanks. There we go. That's how it's got to be. Oh, god dang it. China. Hmm. We could do stuff here, maybe. Yeah, we're probably getting against the gosh dang Belgians. Oh, what a menace to society. The Belgians. Feels looking okay. Definitely looking okay. Convoys, military police, that'd be nice. It's almost 43. Yeah, get some more artillery. Battlefield support, great. Finland, come on. Stop wasting my time. Honestly, I don't understand why you can't just go to war with them right now. It makes no sense why you can't. They join the Allies. Like, the al if you join the Allies, if you join the a faction, you pretty much should be called in. Ooh, nice. Next up, I don't think... We, oh, infrastructure would not be bad. City developments... Ooh, enterprises in Peru. To bring Peru into our sphere of influence. Polish minority in Brazil and Angola and Mozambique. Cool. Naval Department, Army Department... Ah, let's get some more Naval Department stuff, just in case. Often overlooked by the Polish I command, our Navy is small and underfunded, ultimately being pathetic compared to other European navies. If we have any aspirations for developing our Navy, the first place to start would be expanding the Navy Department of the Warsaw War College. Cool. So there's other comments too saying that we should we get an eventual like decision or something <clears throat> in which we can like have protectorates, which is similar to Oh, that's not good. Similar to the UK's uh Dominions. So kind of interested in that. We'll see what happens. You guys are gonna probably die here. So be it, whatever. Are you guys ready? Oh, we're going. Uh, we're not stopping for this. You are gonna push as hard as hell into the French. And the British. Increase the amount we have here. Increase the amount. It's time to go. We're not stopping. 
I'm not going to stop the attacks. Look what we did with the, the Germans before. It's either you win and kill them off, or you die and we lose. And it looks like we're winning. We already took Paris. Nice job, guys. Sometimes all you need are some motivational words. All right, and they capitulated. Welcome home, Dutch people. This is very weird. Very weird. Hmm. Actually, where are you guys? Oh, you guys are still up there. Yeah. Except for some from some supply issues. That's fine. Just put both right there. There you go. Well then. Goodbye. Goodbye. We could do that. Yeah, that the Balkans will be next for this. Yeah, you're both over there. That's fine. Um. Yeah, why not? Don't let him move. Wow. All we had to do was take Paris, and the, the French fell still. So many dead British soldiers. Nice. Actually, how is this coming along? Oh, good. Good, good. It is 43, so happy 43, everyone. Let's get some construction so we can get some more extraction and get some good stuff like that. Oh, yes. Overran these buggers. Oh. Love it. Who's eating Belarus? Actually, do we have claims on Is it? Hmm. I'm pretty sure part of these territories are technically part of us? Maybe not? Maybe? I think they are. I'm just gonna take it anyways. I'm gonna court. I'm not sure if it is or not, but there you go. That looks a little better. That makes it fit a little bit more in line with the, the Ukrainian border. Even if we can't win here yet, I, mean, I don't really care. Because they should be suffering from supply issues. Metz should not be the capital anymore, but whatever. You guys, help take out these little god dang areas. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're looking not too bad right here. We obviously don't have a lot of divisions over here, but whatever. They can still do a good job. I'm not sure why the Dutch got this territory, though. Doesn't make any sense. But I guess it doesn't have to. China. China. Guys. Come on. Nice. Ah, China, China, China. Head on down there, kill them off. Good. I'm going to ignore the Sudetenland. Sudetenland. I'm going to ignore the Maginot to take out influence here in Italy. That's the most important thing right now. These guys will die eventually. Uh, why are you all bunched up like that right there? There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead when you can. And you guys... Well, looks like the Greeks... Looks like the British have actually left these guys to die. Wow. Good job, Britain. Nice. Good job. Any upgrades? Well, maybe, but we don't have that much more room for tr more traits for them. Unfortunate, I know. But a necessary evil. If they can't move, they can't retreat. Take Mets. That's the main thing that we need right here, right now. If you can take Mets, they literally all die there. Hopefully. And of course, we'll take out Luxembourg eventually as well. Goodbye. Oh, we actually lost a sub. That sucks. We're kind of physical. Bye bye. You have an apartment. It's good. Sure, why not? The Royal Navy of Poland is a sad thing. Our ships are small and outdated, but if there's one thing that royalty absolutely love, it's slapping the names on the warships. In fact, the king has been inquiring about a future warship being named after them. This attention will give our navy our, the political leverage to increase funding and build a warship w worthy of royalty. Cool. God, this takes forever to kill them off. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. S sink and kill every single one of these god dang pieces of garbage. The allies are corrupt and must be taken out. 
I don't care how many men die here. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Stop doing that area. Come down here if you can. Right, they can or cannot. You guys cannot get through there. Well, looks like I gotta kill Turkey then. What a shame. Oh, you guys can get through the Mediterranean. You can't go through that one. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we can probably not do that one too. There we go. Hey, not bad, not bad. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Get you guys up to there next. Oh boy. I got quite a few destroyers now. We're researching naval bombers, which is a great thing. Any upgrades? Fortress Buster. We'll go with Fortress Buster this time. Screw you, China. Give me what I need. Stop lollygagging about it. Oh, the, it's like an entire British army is here. Yeah, we'll be taking a lot of losses, and we already are, but I don't care. These guys deserved it. Kill off these Greeks as well. Come on. Come on. You guys are pretty much good to go. They don't have that many soldiers. Cool. Go and do that too. Because we're going to need a lot of planes where we're headed. Do we need more guns or anything? No, oh, we've got plenty of guns. That's fine. I was hoping they'd actually do that too, anyways. There you go. Well, we need less steel now. We need more rubber. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, I don't think I'll liberate the Germans. I think I think they look pretty good right now. Oh, they got them. Oh, hello. How about over here? Yep, sinking them convoys. Sinking them convoys. Advanced computing machine. Very nice. Very nice. 42 radar? Why not? Sink them and stink them. Cool. Now, unfortunately, the Dutch own this area, which I don't completely agree with at all. There's Latvia. Good. And more artillery. Oh, I have to get rid of so much garbage here. Oh, God, I hate this part. That's alright. We'll figure it out. Better uh, advanced anti-air. Thank you. Take that off. Thank you. Plus, air support's not bad. We They did say we had a few... Hey, we'll bombs over there. Give them a couple days to redeploy. That'd be fine with me. Come on, guys. Give up. You, you've already capitulated. You shouldn't get any supplies, so... Doesn't matter how many men we lose. I seriously, I, how are we losing this many men? They have literally no supplies. They should be getting like no supplies in here at all. We'll make the Brits pay. I promise you that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, Soviet Union or really Russia? You want to do that? So be it. At this point, I'm going to just do this. Bye, guys. Right, and then do that thing. Cool. Screw it. You're done attacking. You are pathetic. You generals are pathetic. I don't care how strong their land forts are. You guys need to stop. Let them starve. Screw it. It's so dumb. Like, seriously. This shouldn't be happening. They should be already starving and pretty much dead already. So dumb. Royal Navy, that's good. And city development, might as well. Most of our people live and work in rural areas, but cities are the natural home to factories and industrial workers. We should prioritize expanding and developing our cities, especially in regards to industrial districts within them. Greece, you can't hold out for that long. I mean, with us just tearing everyone's butts up. Oh yeah, look at that. 12 minimum, 26? Yeah, no. 
Oh, fighting the allies alone sucks. And we're pretty much alone. I mean, yeah, we have puppets, but they don't. They can't do much. Let's be realistic about it. They can't do much at all. Yep. No peace for these guys. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, 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 die. Please elaborate how the French are getting that much supplies through Strasbourg. I don't care how many VPs they have. Like, they should not be getting this much strength. Should you bombing is good? Yeah, no, I'm done with that. We've looked at that enough times. Come on. Turkey, do you not see that we're in the middle of a war right now? You know what? You guys force the attack. You're gonna win here or die. I'm not gonna play around. We're just letting you lollygag around here. Come on. They have a thousand manpower left. Well, they're gonna be completely gone or devoid of manpower. By the time we're done with them, that'd be good. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna put that on them. Ooh, there you go. Good, good, good. And give it a few days to deploy, and then we'll duplicate it. There you go. Good. I don't care how many losses we take. Take a quarter million if you have to. Take two million if you have to. But they're not gonna they're not gonna stay here. These guys have to die. Maybe lost a sub, that kinda sucks, but we got plenty of extra. Are you all not why are you not doing this? Come on guys. Everyone together now. Yeah, we got even the French over here. Hmm. Come on, guys. Take him out. These subs are not that good. Oof. Uh, this is so dumb. I mean, they, they. How are these guys like still sitting here? Like, you should be already dead, starving for some, for food at this point. Uh, let's get some ghost guards though. That's good. That is very good. Go there. Thank you. I really don't want to guard the Dutch division or Dutch held territories. I really should not be expected to do so. But we're probably going to have to anyways. I was honestly more expected to guard the tiles. That's why I created this division. To guard the tiles. Over here. I'm surprised we haven't been invaded yet, though. Hmm. But that's okay with me. The Sundown. Isles. I don't really care. I don't even know where that Sundown is. Cool. So your development. That would be good. And rural development. With city development projects going underway, it's time to start similar programs in our numerous rural areas. Tractors, electricity, and fully paved roads will be made a common sense for inner farmlands, greatly improving the efficiency and prosperity of the regions. There we go. See this? See, it didn't take that long. Did it really take that long? Just to push your bots through here? No, it did not. Excavation 4, nice. Excavation 1. No more Chinese steel, which sounds like a talking point in 2020. But, or 2021 maybe too. But, oh well. <sighs> How much longer to... This is so dumb. Honestly, if you... If they join the Allies or join a faction, like, which has caused belligerency or even is at war, you should be able to go to war with them a little faster. It doesn't make any sense why you, why you don't. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Right, so supplies are looking pretty bad here. I'm gonna take these guys out. And we're gonna plan attacking uh Vins. There you go, you guys come up here and have a good time. That's supply issues, thank you. Hey, nice. This is exactly what we could use. That's not looking too bad. And base strike. Right? Because we wanna make some carriers. More submarinos. Good, 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 good. We need more dockyards, though. The heck? Convoys? What do we have convoys there? You 
You're going to win. Hey, we sunk two Greek subs. That's not bad. Guys, come on. Come on. I, I remember I set up a thing for you here. You guys, go ahead and put yourselves on the board between you and Turkey. We gotta kill the Turks off. Because they're impeding my way of trying to get subs out of this group and they won't give us access. So if they really think they can stand up to us, they got another thing coming. And we like them, but they won't give us access, so I guess we're gonna have a lot of dead Turks. That's their choosing. And Dutch, guys, come on, stop it. These guys, obviously the French don't eat, as well as the Brits. The Brits barely eat anything, apparently. Just gas them. Put, a, or, mm, put some fire down their holes. Well, that sounds really weird. Put fire down their holes. Ooh. Sounds kind of hot. Cap growth. Field-wise, we're doing okay. Anything else here? Yeah, we can do some nuclear stuff, but meh. Yeah, we're doing that as well. Light cruisers, subs, good stuff like that. Better torpedo stuff, maybe. Uh, let's do that one, why not? Firefighting girls. And we will need to invade the Al United Kingdom too, so. Now we need more steel, which is fine that now that we need it, but man. Extraction 5, very good. Get some more extraction. Always welcome. Always welcome. Okay. Dutch. Give me Italy. Like, you don't deserve this at all. I'm giving you all of France. Or at least you're going to hold on to all sorts of France for now. How can you guys not win here? This makes no sense to me. Fine. Be a bunch of losers. Don't even win. Don't, like, I don't understand. Like, sure, maybe they have some air, some air power, but they should have zero supplies coming in through here. Like, almost zero. Uh, subs is fine. Fine, we can go to Orth Island, which makes no god dang sense. Why, why, why don't they just join the war? I'm gonna get rid of so many Finns here. They're not, they're not gonna be a puppet by the time I'm done with them. They're just gonna be a memory. No, you, you wasted so much time, Finland. So much time. I'm sorry if I sound a little angry in this episode. I'm just a little tired, and I'm not going to deal with BS. Like, I do not put up with BS, so. Radar's cool. Let's grab the nuclear stuff. They're definitely paying the price for losing, so. What's, what's to do? Uh, let's see. Infrastructure's nice. Air according to oh, yeah, we can do that one. Our radio equipment will be made not only to work with other land radios, but also the radios and aircraft that utilize higher frequencies. This way, our radio operators are able to call in for direct bombing support themselves, improving our bombers' effectiveness and efficiency. What the hell happened here? What the hell? No, guys, come on! You still have orders, but not really. Don't lie to me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you please just kill off... This is your... Oh my god. Just, please. Just kill them. Just kill them, please. Man, how are these guys looking over here? Yep. They're not starving for some reason. And I know, like, like I said earlier, Strasbourg gets supply. A m tiny. You barely get supply in there. So I don't understand how they can keep doing that. Ooh, more building slots. Ooh, let's develop some oil fields first. But do this as well. That'd be pretty important to do. That is good. Was it really that hard to capitulate Greece, guys? Like, not not you guys, but, like, my soldiers. Seriously. Why did it take you so long? Man, we're not the Italians. Let's 
just kill them all off. They don't they don't need it need life where they're going. <sighs> Tis so sad when you have to do fight basically the Nazis by yourself, and then the Soviets by yourself, and then the allies by yourself. Not very cool, I don't like that. I really don't. And normally I don't like having too many allies, but man. Not cool. Do that. Now the Drex will put up some resistance, we'll say. Which we will have to deal with, but that's okay. Hmm. So sad right here. The Dutch really want him. And I do too, but... Actually, you know what? We're taking Strasbourg right now. The French have left the defense of Strasbourg up to the British, not even themselves. Good, Finland's gone, as they should be. Finish off, finish them off, and we've got to kill off uh, Norway as well, which is fine. Totally cool. And then Luxembourg. Yeah, you're not going to fail here. Only one division, guys. Come on. So I'm assuming we lost like half a million people. Well, 400,000. We got off 2 million, which is pretty good. Not enough English yet, though. Not enough. Oh, come on. The, the, the French finally arrived. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Oh, my goodness, guys. Come on. There you go. At this point, I don't care how many losses we take. Just kill them off. Good. I mean, they're, they're getting beaten up. They can't get any more supplies at this point. Like, Mulehouse has barely any. Oh my gosh. I, uh, I hate the Dutch. Why did you take everything over? Airline coordination, good. Uh, uh, Warsaw, oh yeah, this would be pretty good to do. Let's do that one. Priority air production. Now that our Air Force grand plan has been settled, we must begin expanding our air production of the key aircraft needed in the plan. Our engineers believe we may be able to streamline the process of the construction without having any negative impact on other aircraft production lines. Sounds good to me. Oh my god, the Dutch, you pieces of garbage. Ugh. Seriously, you, you couldn't defend the coastline. Then why'd you take all of it? If you can't defend it, why'd you take it? Of course you attack. Good. Yeah, I gotta deploy these soldiers early. Y'all gonna have to defend, because the Dutch are pathetic here. Why, 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 why? Just let them walk right in. That, that makes total sense. What are you guys doing? What the hell are you doing? Why are you not doing anything? Oh, because you're stuck over there. Oh, that makes sense. That's oh, so dumb. There you go. There we go. There's strategic destruction. Turkey, why did you get in my way? Why? Why, Turkey? We could have been buddies. We could have been really great buddies. Poles and Turks working together finally. Ah, big sad, big sad. Are we missing anything? Anti air. Anti air. Which we're actually doing okay on. I mean, we'll make, make more military factories, of course, but. Hmm. There we go. We'll be okay. But my gosh. Paradox. If the world has 100% world tension of 43, going to war with someone else should not take this long. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see. B 
Beat him back. Beat him back. Hey, we're sinking an enemy cell. That's pretty good. Keep it up. Good. Finally, we're breaking them. And we lost the sub. That happens. You know, it happens occasionally. We lost the plane. That's fine. Good. Look at that. Finally. That took way too long. Well, that's alright. Things happen. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Luxembourg is your calling. And I'm gonna actually divide these guys up a little bit better. You guys go right there. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. One god awful mess. Yeah, not all of you guys are gonna do that. Actually, if anything, you guys are gonna come down here, hang out, have a good time. You're gonna come up here, actually. You'll do this. Way better supply this way. Way better supply. There you go. Yep, the Turks have deserved their fate. Let's see, anything else? Oh, yeah. Wait. Hold on. Well, I thought this was part of our territory. Cool. Let's, see, let's just double check. You've got everything else. Nice. Very good, very good. Oh, we can lower some autonomy, maybe? Cool. And modern naval warfare? Yeah. Carrier production is underway, so the next step is to focus on training the pilots of the naval aircraft we will be beginning to employ. Taking off and landing on land is a completely different beast than landing on a relatively tiny ship. Our pilots will have to train to efficiently sortie out over the seas. Very good. Convoys lost. Convoys lost. Good. Nothing but dead convoys. Don't mind if we do. Deploy these guys early. We can put them out with guns and whatnot. Oh no, they're having difficulty supplying? Don't say it. so. It's fine. Uh, let's see. You're level 5. Not bad. Hmm. Nice. How are you guys doing? Can we duplicate you guys and do the same thing over here? Nice. Can we duplicate you guys again? Perhaps. Excavation one is nice. And get more cap. Boom. Don't need any more foreign outside steel. Good. Future slides are looking okay. Base strike will come in handy. Carrier primacy, that'd be pretty good to do, hopefully. If we were to ever make any subs, or I mean, guess any really carriers, but you know, that's just me. Come on, guys. And how much longer must we wait to go to war with Turkey? Too long. I mean, that's just too long. Why? Why, man? Why? Oh God. Though the Dutch can't help, can't do this anymore. This is so stupid. Let me deal with. We can deal with this if I am allowed to. Because I doubt that the Dutch have any more manpower. Eh, they have barely any, but that's going to go bye-bye very soon, probably. Alright. So we have to invade the UK somehow. We're making some ships, obviously. Bombers? Not enough. Let's go up to 40. Oh, we need some... Oh, we haven't made any carrier naval bombers, too. Yeah, we definitely need those. You go to 2... There you go. We need more rubber, of course, but what else is new? Excavation 5, not bad. Get some more rubber as well. Good. Oh, wow. They really don't like us shooting down their stuff. Or sinking their stuff. Who else is up? That's not good. Oh, the autonomy of somebody. Who's that? Yes. Modern naval warfare. God, there's so much lag. Uh, up next will be what? Polish Admiralty? Yes. 
Now that the government has directed which naval plan we are to follow, we must begin the destruction of our officer corps and the new naval strategy. Multiple uh, meetings hosted between our admirals will take place to ensure that they are all on the same page and that there will be no detractors or resistance to the coming changes. Nice. Very good. Oh man, the Dutch. Why are you losing your ships, son? That's not a good thing to do. Yeah, we're gonna really massively put so many more bombers in the ocean. Another by five, or by another five, that'd be fine. We need way more rubber now. Russia? No. Yeah, we just gotta build our own. That's probably what the deal's gonna have to be. So be it. Oh, hello. Yes. No, we're not accepting applications into Italy this time. No, thank you. What did I just say? No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Uh... Hurry up, get down there if you can. That be swell. No, oh, God, no. Don't you dare start doing this, Russia. I don't want your garbage divisions. How are these guys not damaged? What the heck? And Portugal, yeah, that sucks. Just gonna get more rubber. But it's, I think it's pretty much time for us to focus on the Turks. The Turks have had to do good for too long. Screw it, if you guys want to do this. There we go. Alright, you guys looking not too bad. There you go. There you go. Actually, before we do this, I want to make sure we actually deploy these guys in the right area. And by these guys, I mean the carriers. Somewhere relatively safe. There you go, nice. Very good. Very good. Kind of let's go bye bye. Sink them and sink them, just go to war with these guys. They're going to attack our lines hellaciously, but that's okay. Because you get out of my way, Turkey. You are the problem here. The Turks are the problem. Just because they're in the way. That's it. Just because they're in the way of progress. Should really put more planes on it, guys. Cool. And any more fire? Oh, we got two more. There you go. And I forget which army we're using over here, but it doesn't really matter to me. Good. And boom. Boom. Cool. Keep making more of these guys because we could really use them. And uh, there you go. Not bad. Slowly winning. That's really nice. Uh, I'm sure the truck's got quite a bit of manpower though, so. Firefighting drills. Oh, never mind, they don't. Okay. Well, that kind of gets me a little more interested in a few things. Nice. Sink them. Well, if that's the case, we could probably grind away their manpower. Maybe. Do that. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that too. Nice. Do some more of this stuff. Army department. Very good. Holy crap, they encircled me. How? Oh, I lost an army here. How? Show me how. They must have just been navaling being all over the place. That's the only thing I can think of. You gotta win or you're all or you're all dead. So, you guys come right there. Is that a port? No, it's not. Oh, crap. Uh. If you can get take that tile, that'd be great. Screw the allies. Pieces of garbage. Get a DNA. Oh my goodness, if you can not stop them there, that'd be good. If we lose the entire army group, so be it. Whatever. There we go. Actually, got them back. Oof. At this point, I'm, I'm killing them all. I'm killing every single one of these pieces of garbage right now. Actually, you all hold and just go to hell on every single one of these pieces of garbage. I'm going to not do this. You guys come down here. Wrap yourselves around here and just murder every single one of them. No mercy. They almost killed this entire army group off. And that'll be met with extreme 
Mm, bad words. Yeah. What is wrong with Turkey? Why are they so weak? Hmm. Good. Oh, and you know what? We basically encircled these guys. Reds, we take Naples or Napoli? Very bueno. It's not fuel that Poland needs. It is rubber. And we can break through here. Finally, thank the Lord we can break through here. Oh, my goodness. Screw this stuff. Who cares about the Black Sea? It's all about this area here that really, really, really matters. Ah, oh, we did it, my friends. Broken through. Why do we keep going back to this center position? I don't I don't understand what that. Navy expansion plan. Ooh, we lose political power for two years. Because of the goods, we get way more naval output. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, we could probably really use that. Naval doctrine... Gdansk. Yeah, let's get that one first up. Gdansk is home to our nation's only stretch of coastline, but it was woefully underdeveloped. Expanding the dockyards there will help grow our navy and build up our naval fortifications there will help keep the region safe from naval bombardment and invasions. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, we're, seeing, we're hitting some stuff in here. Not a lot, but some stuff. Antiar is looking so much better. Naval bombers, you need some more help. And we need more rubber. So much, I'm just going to start convoy raiding the UK, because... Are they the last group here? Yes, for now. Good, kill, give them no mercy. They're about to kill you. They were going to kill these guys completely off. So, absolutely zero mercy. Cool. Finally. You should be going, getting a ton of XP. Just fighting so many different groups here. Getting bait in the Java Sea. Don't really care, though. I mean, terminate with extreme prejudice. That's what I would do here. They're all dead. As they should be. Alright, that's the case. You guys can kind of party around Switzerland. That'd be kind of nice. Are we just fucking anyone? No, we won't take them out, then. You guys help out down here, too. That'd be good. Border interception, nice, and we're done with our air doctrine too. Good. It's almost 44. Just grab some better planes. That'd be fine. I already did most of the Mediterranean. Awesome. Good, good, good. And this will help us break down into Africa too. So, not bad. Not enough divisions, of course, like normal. That's okay. Never enough factories, of course, but that's okay. Convoys go bye bye. My subs go bye bye too. Ooh. Force the attack. Yeah, the Turks should be at least a little stronger than this. At least in my opinion, they should be. But that's just me. Let's go ahead and cut these guys down. Thank you. Blueprint stealing. Portable radios. It's a rubber deficit like minus 30. Are we still researching this stuff? Yes, we are. Yeah, it just takes some time, that's all. And then there will be toast. And then I'm just going to start sinking convoys all around the UK. They have too many supplies coming in and out, so. Switzerland, and then probably maybe Spain even? Maybe? Come on guys, keep going, keep going. You guys appear to be done, but not really. You ain't ever done. But for now, I'm going to have you all do what? Hmm. Eggle Sear has been pretty good. We're going to do this. There you go. We're going to hang out in northern Italy just in case things go poorly for us. There you go. Hey, we sunk a cruiser. Nice. It might be worth it if we actually invaded Sweden so we have a bigger front. That actually might be really good, but we'll see what happens. Hey, look at that. Goodbye. Hey, they all died too. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Finally. I had enough motivation to do a great job. I'm actually going to put you guys down here too. Why don't you guys keep going? What the heck, guys? Come on. Why do you stop? You have no orders to stop. Cool. 
And let's come back down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Transylvania. Oh, I could do that against Spain. Yeah, why not? We could probably do that soon. Actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. Why not? So, during the Golden Age of the Habsburg Dynasty, one of the most successful and long-lasting of our family's kingdoms was that of the Spanish branch of Charles V and Philip II. During their reign, Spain's territorial claims expanded over Europe and beyond. While Spain may be a shadow of its past self, who's to say that they cannot replicate those classic glories in another Habsburg? King Albrecht's brother, Leo, would make for an excellent king of Spain. The Spanish may not be as enthusiastic as we are, but they'll surely come around in time. Might as well, right? No, thank you. Come on, guys, keep going. The Turks can't keep it up. Get more things here. Four more subs. Don't mind if we do. And the first light cruiser. Awesome. We good right there. Beautiful. Finally. Good. So, break through the Suez. Yeah, we gotta go to War Spain to cut the Gibraltar off. That'd be good. Yeah, there goes Turkey. Good. Finally. And there goes the Turks. Samos. Come on. There you go. Group rubber processing. Grab even more rubber. Because my goodness, do we need a lot of rubber? Oh, we need even more soon, too, so. Cool. Hope the Spanish don't have a massive military, but they might. You never know. And they don't have that much manpower. They don't, oh, they have eight, 45 divisions max? Fighting the Pyrenees is going to suck butt, but that's okay. If they can break through there quick enough, it doesn't matter. Carrier primacy, great. Grab some of this, yes, yes. A thousand times yes. You guys are doing great, great, great. We gotta get this to the Suez. Nice. It's weird when the Turks and the Greeks are on the same side, isn't it? Since you guys are hanging out. Not sure there's enough supply through here, but we can make it have better supply. There you go. There you go. Need some better planes. Maybe we'll get some radar going. Have a good time. Get some stuff in the Rhineland going. Stuff down there. Yeah, that'd probably be all very, very good stuff to do. And let's do one more focus before we end the episode. Just one more. Guys. Guys. I want you going on this way for the most part. Oh, god dang Greeks. Probably don't need this tile anymore. There you go. More subs, don't mind if we do. Sink everything you find. Sink every little piece of alloy convoys. Not that bad compared to their losses. Roughly 4 million, that's not bad at all. We're doing better naval bombers too. Would you look at that? We got a few to spare. And if we got a few more to spare, that means we can do more damage here. Awesome. <sighs> Why can't you just kill these guys off? Seriously. Fix the flippin' line. Just just kill them. Please just kill them. Please. That's all I ask. The divisions are too weak. Put Habsburg on the throne. That'd be good. I can't deal with this lag, man. I, I'm sorry. I just can't deal with this lag. Stop lagging so much, game. Come on. Naval Doctrine Experimentation. Admittedly, many of our naval officers have limited experience, and some of our admirals have never even, been, even had to command a large number of vessels in combat. Developing an in-depth doctrine for them to follow will do much to give confidence to our junior officers and aid in the decision-making of the senior ones. But we're going to end up with there. I think this video's gone long enough. I'm going to do some of this off-screen just because... 
I'm getting tired of this, to be honest with you. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully capitulate the Allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.